I have the pleasure of speaking with e-research analyst, Chris Thompson. How are you today? I'm good, Tracy. Thanks. Of course, Chris, you've been following data communication management. They just put out Q3 results. Why don't we start there with an update? Thanks, Tracy. Yeah, they had, uh, you know, their, their Q3 results came out and uh, the revenue was, was almost $60 million, a $57 million you know, up year over year. Um, slightly lower than our uh, our estimate, but we had factored in that COVID would be over a little bit sooner, and, and uh, but still they're they're seeing some you know organic growth, uh, which is good, and, and but more importantly they're seeing lots of uh, cash flow, uh, so very strong EBITDA, almost ten million dollars of EBITDA, uh, which is important for the company. Chris, I loved your e, I loved your e research report on data communications management. What was your buy recommendation on them again? It's by uh, recommendation and a 375 uh, target price. And how do you have them designated for investors out there? They're going, okay, I need some market technology, uh, a SaaS company. How would you designate them for people looking to balance out their portfolios? Yeah, this is an interesting company because it's evolving from a, a traditional printer to more of a marketing tech and SaaS technology company. So, Chris, we really have enjoyed this research report. They just put out their Q3 results. We're expecting a lot of revenue from them this next year. Is that correct? Yeah, we have a, a recommendation where they're going to be making, uh, you know, more than $250 million next year uh, in their revenue model. Uh, they're, they're growing their business slightly year over year, uh, still dealing with the COVID situation. Mostly they're, they're growing their EBITDA bottom line, uh, which is important uh, as they you know, transition over from a, a, what they call a print first to a digital first uh, type of solution for their customers. So Chris, what would you anticipate to be the largest revenue growth driver here for 2022? Well, the company is moving to a digital first strategy and, and one of their products, which is a digital asset management uh, solution only makes up 1% of their revenue right now. Uh, and it's a huge market with all the companies out there producing videos, electronic content, uh, this is the type of solution where, you know, they can easily grow this with their large client base. You know, they have more than a couple of hundred clients out there and they can easily introduce this into their product line and create a, a lot more revenue from this product, as well as it's a higher margin since it is a digital service. And that's where we see this company transitioning, uh, you know, from uh, getting a higher multiple on its, on its revenue in EBITDA, uh, and EBITDA and, and, you know, earning into its valuation. Well, Chris, as always, thank you so much for joining us today and providing an update on data communications management. If we want to actually read more and read your research report on DCM, where do we go? You can go to eresearch.com and look under company reports. And DCM, we have an initiation report, which we put out about two months ago. And this is the first update report for their Q3 quarterlies. And we look forward to uh, following the company for, you know, uh, over the next year. And Chris, thank you so much for reminding me. Their CEO actually has a YouTube channel that he has created of himself discussing DCM. I'm going to find that and put that link at the bottom of this YouTube interview. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Thanks, Tracy. Bye.